Good morning, everybody. Happy, uh, well, it is Thursday when you're watching this, but it is a Wednesday, but happy day whenever you're watching this. We are awake. It's like 7.22. I slept like a rock yesterday, um, or last night. I got a really good night's sleep, like eight hour, eight and a half hours. Um, like everything was just like a good night's sleep. I track it all on my aura ring. <laughs> this is oatmeal. This is my aura ring. Um, and I really, really love it. I've been wearing it now for over, I would say almost two years, but I really, really enjoy it. Today, Steven and I have an appointment at the lawyer's office at nine. And then he has blood work and work. And I have a couple errands to run and things like that. Dougie's just came in. Did you go to the bathroom outside? No. Great. We're, we're waiting for, we're waiting for his morning deposits. Stay tuned. Well, get a dipe on him. Well, that's not the, that's I not know. The, that's not the. Right dipe. She's been eating cookies in here recently. On the, on the bed? Yeah. Oh. oh, Dragon's out too. I just put him back. In the bin? Mm -hmm. He's already out. I am going to make some oatmeal this morning. I have been craving oatmeal. So, I have some Justin's almond peanut butter. A little bit of crushed walnuts on top, and then I'm going to slice up one banana. Alrighty, so I have my oatmeal. People told me that this gold trim on this bowl would get very hot in the microwave. It doesn't, it hasn't faded in the dishwasher. I am finding these dishes to be very, very well made. I'm going to drop in, I just have a fork, so that's what I'm gonna use. That almond butter is completely unsweetened, so I am going to add a splash of maple syrup. So I'm gonna mix that all together. I have found the perfect consistency for oatmeal has been a little over half a cup of oats and a cup of water. Now, I'm going to add my bananas. And then just so I have a little bit of crunch, just a few walnuts. I'm gonna break them up in my hand. I realized I never showed you one of my finds from Home Goods yesterday when I went to look for pillows. So I priced these on Amazon. It was $45. Priced one on Anthropology. It was $60. Same exact height and has a little blue veining in it. I got it for $12.99. It was in the planter section. So what I wanna do with this in our kitchen is plant my parsley in it so like the parsley is growing out. I saw it on an inspo pick. I can't remember where and I just knew I wanted it. So this will go in our bright kitchen with like parsley growing out of it. The new vibe of the house is gonna be so different, friends. So different and I'm really excited for it. Some of you asked how I create my mood boards, I use Canva. I have the upgraded edition for it because I use it for YouTube and I've used it for work previously, so I don't mind paying for the upgraded version. I think it's maybe $10 a month. Don't quote me on that, I could be wrong. Over on the left, I can go to my camera roll. It is really easy, here are my photos. I am going to take this couch photo and I'm going to add it. This couch photo is now added. All you do is you go up here and you hit edit photo and then it'll say BG remover. I'm gonna click on it and it takes it off. It is that simple. Now, I'm gonna add a coffee table. Now, this is a coffee table that I really, really like. I'm gonna click on edit photo again the BG remover. Sometimes they take a little longer. And now I can custom size and add that in to my photo. 
say I wanted to add, let's go, let me show you an, another good example of one that could be trickier. All right, so let's add this. There's a lot happening in this photo, but essentially what I need added is this coffee table. So I'm gonna crop this table down to just the table. So once you crop it, it's easier to cut out. I'm gonna go to edit, take out the background again. And now I just have the table. Isn't that amazing? So I can move this table around, say I want it like over here, I could put it to scale and it's gonna go over here. And that's really how I start laying it out. The other thing that I like to do is I like to go to my background and make the background maybe the color of my walls so I know. And you can go in custom and you can get it just right and adjust the color to get the color just right. And that way I can just kind of see how that color is working in the rest of the space. And I can start just fiddling around. I can lay down the area rug, the other chairs, but that is really how I create all of my mood boards. I'm sure there are other programs you could do it in. I just find Canva to be one of the easiest interfaces to work around. And then I love that it stores or can have direct access to your camera roll. Just makes things a little bit easier. Also really allows you to start seeing how things come together or how things are going. I love to save samples. Here's like a quick sample set. I love to save sample sets of like pillows. And what you can end up doing, what I end up doing all the time, is I will just crop these and then I will say, edit, let's take out the background. And like these might not be the exact pillows I buy, but they're in the color story that I want. So I will arrange them right on the couch. So I can see how they're vibing with the space. But that's how I kind of go about creating all my mood boards. It has served me really well, especially when I'm trying to pick out furniture, which is an investment as we all know, and we all wanna make sure that we get it right. So I have found it to be an incredibly, incredibly useful tool as you are figuring things out. And then you can easily duplicate it and create another one. Just a nice way to start building out all the things. So the Canva is the way I do it, but any program that has a background editor, easy peasy to do. We're getting like snow squalls right now. There's probably an inch of snow and it is still coming down. Steven and I ended up having to move up some furniture that people are picking up tomorrow. And then one of our buyers from the estate sale has professional movers coming at 8 a.m. tomorrow for the leather sectional downstairs, the our house bookcase, and a pottery barn side table. So Steven is losing his desk tomorrow. But they're coming at eight, so we're gonna have to get up a little bit early tomorrow. I'm watching some tennis, but we just got a delivery. We got our upholstery needle to fix the button. And then I placed an order that goes with my Dapper Desk Planner from Emily Lee Simplified. I got her set of habit trackers. Like the quality of their things are just so nice. I like how this is set up for monthly. I really like it. And then I got some pineapple clips that are really cute. And then I love this for the refrigerator. It's a cleaning schedule and it tells you like what to do on Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I just really like it. So we're going to use that in the new house. The lighting is terrible right now, but I know so many of you were watching the previous vlog where <laughs> I think it was yesterday where we shared, maybe it was two days ago, that um, Bubba's had peed on my sister's couch when we first took him over there and we never told her. 
So we had a text exchange. My sister texted us both at like 8.14 a.m. this morning. All caps. Bubba's peed on my couch, exclamation points. And I said, Stephen cleaned it so well you never knew. My sister then said, never. And I don't have a sense of smell, so that helps. So backstory, my grandma and my sister have never been able to smell. And randomly, Stephen's mother has never been able to smell. So then I responded to her. Literally the first time we brought him over, he peed on your couch. We were mortified. It was on the back of the couch facing the kitchen. And she goes, you guys hit it so well. I probably would have blamed Finn, which was their dog, had I known. Then Steven said to my sister, Bubba's is waiting to see you in person to apologize as part of his 12-step program. My sister goes, I'm glad he is acknowledging his problem. <laughs> That's the first step. And then Steven said, well, he can't lift his leg anymore, so he knew it was time. Now he wears a diaper, so it won't happen again. Um, so <laughs> the secret is out um, <laughs> that Bubba's peed on my sister's couch. And my sister, of course, just had a great sense of humor about it. I cannot wait to be able to spend um, so much time with her and for you guys to get to know my family so much more. It's going to be crazy. You'll get to see my nieces more, my sister, my brother-in-law, their animals, and my mom and dad. It's just, it's so exciting. Lastly, um, a lot of you have been asking about I'm sorry I have the TV on. I didn't even realize the volume was loud. Um, I'm watching the Naomi Osaka match. Steven's upstairs reading with Mabel. Um, but a lot of you have been asking about my half marathon training. So three days a week I'm doing like distance runs. So I started at three miles and I'm doing anywhere between three and four on those three days. Then one day is weight training and stretching. And then the other days, my trainer is that build out the plan. I'm just doing fun 30 to 45 minute runs on my Peloton. So tomorrow's a fun run because I did three and a half miles today. So I'm going to do the Kelly Clarkson run. And it's like an interval run with incline. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And then I am still like seven, six months out. So right now is just about building endurance and distance. So I have time to really like train the mileage, but that's what we're doing right now. And I'm really enjoying it. I have missed running so much. It's something I've really enjoyed. I ran the Winter Warrior Half Marathon twice here in Rochester. I've ran the Fall um, Half Marathon three times. So five half marathons. So this will be a next new challenge and I'm really excited for it. But that's kind of how I'm doing my training right now. And I'm probably going to do a month of that or two months of that and then really like buckle down once the move is over. So tonight was an easy breezy night. We just had dinner. I didn't make anything special. We did leftovers. Um, I'm drinking a little bit of wine. Stephen and I, like I said, moved all that furniture. And we're going to have to get up early tomorrow to help with those movers. I mean, I'm not helping. I'm just going to coordinate it. And then we might do a little mini road trip to a favorite place tomorrow. Stay tuned. Oh, also, a couple of you have now asked about Abby. So just so you know, there's something coming up with her. All right, friends. I'm going to sign off here. Uh, it's been an easy breezy day. Started at the lawyer's office, ended watching tennis with a glass of wine. But take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends.